hi everyone and welcome back to my channel today i am going to share with you my recipe of vegetable frittata now to make the frittata the ingredients that we need are half a green bell pepper finely diced one whole tomato finely diced spring onions finely diced i've taken six it's up to you how many you want to add in green chilies also these are optional i've got six green chilies it's totally up to you i've got 80 gram of kale and i also have 80 grams of spinach now with my spinach and kale i buy them fresh from the supermarket put them in the freezer and once they are frozen i actually whenever i need them i take them out and i just um, crunch it up um, wash it and just use it it just saves the time for cutting and chopping so let's get started we also need um, eggs. I've got eight eggs. Now with eight eggs, you can make enough frittata for six people. But if you want to um, use four eggs, um, that's enough for two to three people. So let's get started. First of all, in a non-stick pan, I'm going to add in one table, sorry, two tablespoons of olive oil. Now you have to use a non-stick pan. So first of all, I am going to saute my spinach and my kale. So I'm just going to saute it for about three to four minutes. Now at this point, you can add in garlic, um, but my children don't like the taste of garlic, so I'm not adding that in. So now that after three to four minutes, my spinach and kale are sorted, I'm gonna take it out in a bowl and I'm gonna use the same frying pan to actually um, make my frittata. So let's get the ingredients ready for the frittata. So in a bowl, I'm gonna crack up eight eggs. Now, one of uh, my eggs, eggshell, has actually cracked into the eggs. Now, there's a trick to get the eggshell out. It, you can try all day with a spoon, but you won't be able to get out. So I've rinsed one half of my eggshell, and I actually dipped it inside the bowl. And as you can see, the cracked part of the eggshell, the small one, has easily come out. So that's a tip that will come in handy. So now I'm going to add in the spices. I've added in a whole teaspoon of salt, one whole teaspoon of red chili powder. Now red chili powder is optional. You can add it. If you don't want to add it, you don't. I'm also going to add in crushed chili flakes, a pinch of them, and that's also optional. And I'm also going to add in half a teaspoon of uh, freshly ground black pepper. Mix it all together. So now we're going to whisk our eggs. Now once that is done, I'm now going to add in all the vegetables. Now I'm going to mix the egg again with all the vegetables inside. mix it well so this is what the mixture looks like once it's mixed so now in the same frying pan I'm going to add in two tablespoons of olive oil I'm going to spread it around
and now I'm going to add in all the mixture and I'm going to spread it around equally and we need to cook our frittata on a medium heat three minutes on each side so now after three minutes this is what it looks like now if you want at this time you can add in cheese um, and you can also put this in the oven 150 degrees for five to six minutes but I'm not going to do that I am going to show you a different way the way that I do my frittata so now I'm going to show you how I do my frittata but please I have done this so many times so I know what to do but you guys please wear an oven glove if you're going to do this so you get a plate, the same size as the frying pan, put it down on the frittata, press it firmly and turn it over. Once you've done that, slide your frittata back in the frying pan and let the other side cook. But like I said, if you guys cannot do that, please use the option of the oven. And if you want to try this, then please wear oven glove. So now I'm going to press my frittata down and that is because any uncooked egg which is sat in the corner or anywhere that will actually come on the top of the frittata. So by pressing down the frittata the egg that is uncooked floats on the top. So now I'm going to do the same thing. I am going to get a plate and I'm going to put that on top and I'm gonna turn my frittata over. Slide it back in. So all that uncooked egg now can be cooked. So now again, press it down. There's another tip. You can actually slit um, some slits in the frittata, small, small ones with a knife, or you can pick prick a fork and that also, that's a way that the uncooked egg can actually float on top. So now for the third time, I am going to flip it over. So basically, this is the colour that we are looking for our frittata. Now, another thing, if your frittata, the darker it goes, the bitter the egg is. That's what I've actually found with my frittatas. I don't know if that is the same with any others, but it should be a light golden colour. So now, after three minutes, I've taken the frittata out. I've used, used the same technique with the plate and I've put it on my uh, chopping board. So this is the final look of my frittata. I hope you like my recipe. If you do, then please give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of my recipes like that, then please do subscribe to my channel. Till then, take care. Bye.